Hi everyone, Seth Capel, Realtor here. In today's tour, we are visiting a home that is currently on the market. This is in a country club golf course community, but the most important thing about this property is the house inside and out. It has finishes that I have never seen in any other home. And so we are gonna get into all of it, the interior, the outside, the exterior, the pool, the waterfall, the outdoor kitchen in this home is truly meant for a chef. So if you like to bring your outdoor grilling game, you wanna check out this backyard. Okay, so first off, I wanna thank Tammy Wise with Keller Williams, the listing agent, for allowing us to tour this home on video. So you just saw us pass through the grand foyer, and now we are in the formal dining room here. You can see the soaring high ceilings, the beams all the way up there, and look at those nine large encased picture windows. They are absolutely beautiful. And you have a barn door here made of knotty alder wood that is separating the left wing of this home. A couple of things to note about this gorgeous home as we get straight into it. One thing I wanna mention is the primary suite on this home is one of the largest I've ever seen between the bedroom itself, multiple closets, the bathroom, it's like an entire wing of the house. So you gotta stick around for that. And like I said, the outdoor living and outdoor kitchen area is truly phenomenal. So we're here in the family room, but there is another family room beyond this fireplace that is absolutely beautiful as well. So we're gonna get into all of it. Um, this one is connected to the kitchen so even though you don't see that in this shot right here, we are absolutely open to the kitchen area. And then you have two sets of doors on each side of this fireplace that go into another family room or a game room area that's a little bit more casual. Now, all of these rooms here open to the backyard and we are gonna get out there in just a moment. But first, let's get into this stunning kitchen. And this is just the right side. And here is your breakfast area. You have multiple beverage fridges. You have an ice maker there. You have an extra sink here, the microwave. Look at all this countertop space and just beautiful cabinetry. But this is the main part of the kitchen. So that's just extra. And then you have that massive vent hood there with this, the masonry going all the way up. And when you pan upward in this kitchen, it is just phenomenal. You have beams in the kitchen. Look at that window, the chandelier. Just so much architectural detail throughout this home just makes it truly custom and truly unique. This center island countertop space. You have this gorgeous, well, it's a six burner range plus a griddle. It's, the, it's a 48 inch wide double oven range. On the left and the right side of the range, there are pullouts where you can put spices, and you have the uh, pot filler right there. And then you have a refrigerator there, a dedicated refrigerator on one side and a dedicated freezer right behind me. And you can see out these double doors right there, out to the covered patio in the backyard. We're gonna get out there, it's absolutely phenomenal. And another thing that we're gonna get straight over to is the pantry and wine area in this home are truly unique, truly beautiful, high-end finishes. And so we're gonna get over there in just a quick moment. But you can see those shelving there with the corbels. And if you're counting, this is the third sink now in the kitchen with a, a large single basin sink with the apron front. Gonna get out there in just a quick moment. But this kitchen keeps on going because what is a pantry is really a continuation of a high-end kitchen. And here you have the warming drawer, and a beautiful wood countertop there. But this backsplash tile is a continuation of the colors from the main kitchen and all of this custom cabinetry with the little ink design edges. It's just stunning. And here you have an entry with all of these wine storage area and more cabinetry and more pantry space. Areas here for your small appliances on different levels here and you just have so much storage space in this home and it's all very luxurious. As I mentioned, this home is 
201 Dovetail Cove here in Georgetown, and it is currently for sale on the market. Now keep in mind, this home was built in 2008, and these are the original homeowners who are, this home is on the market for the first time ever. And I'm gonna give you all of the stats on this home in just a moment. But here we are in the game room space that continues with this luxury feel throughout. That fireplace is open to both sides. If you remember, you could access the fireplace and enjoy it from the family room side, but you could also enjoy it from the game room side. And you're getting a little glimpse of what I am so excited about regarding the backyard. And like I said, we're gonna get out there, but let's finish here in the game room. You have plenty of room to watch the game, to play pool, to watch a movie, and enjoy a warm fireplace. And you have all of these built-ins on the left side here in the family room. And there is so many custom finishes in these cabinetry, but let's get outside because this is where it all happens. You have so much outdoor living and you could truly enjoy the Texas spring, summer, fall, and winter with this backyard. Another sink out here, so much outdoor kitchen space. It continues up here and below, and you're gonna see things, like I said, that I have never seen in a residential backyard outdoor kitchen. There are so many pergolas and covered patio areas here. The first one on the left that we're just, we're just passing by uh, has an outdoor shower that is massive. And then you have these continued pergolas, continued covered patios here. And there is your hot tub spa outside. There's the waterfall, the large in-ground pool here on the right. And we're gonna get into that covered patio area right in front of us in just a quick moment. But this pool keeps going. It wraps around this spa area. And you can see this bar right there on the left side with those five bar stools there. And this is an outdoor fire pit right here. This right here is an outdoor fire pit, but take a look at what is below. So this is just an outdoor fire pit where you could just enjoy the warmth or maybe do s'mores or something like that. But under this cover right here is a grilling area that you can put, I'm assuming like an entire lamb or goat or whatever you wanna grill out there you have a massive grill that, like I said, I have never seen anything like that in a residential outdoor kitchen. Um, but here we are in this covered patio area that has another fireplace out here. You have a nice TV area, and these, each of these doors are operational. This door here goes out to the continued backyard area, and then you have different systems that are protected from the elements within those wood doors there. And it just continues with this old world feel throughout the interior of the home, the exterior of the home, you have the waterfall, different masonry accents throughout. It is just beautiful. And as I mentioned, the folks who built this home have lived in it ever since it was finished being built. And they built this for them and their needs and their family. And now that their kids are going off to college, and if you saw the double T there uh, as we passed part of the outdoor living, you can guess where their kids are going to college, Texas Tech. Um, so congratulations to them. And there you have a spiral staircase that leads to an upper covered patio and outdoor living that actually is an extension of that primary suite that, like I said, is so large, it's the entire right wing of the upper level of the home. And we are going to get up there in just a moment. Now let me give you all of the stats on this stunning home at 201 Dovetail that is currently for sale. It's a six bedroom home, and keep in mind that two bedrooms are on the main level and four are upstairs on the second level. There's five total bathrooms, four full baths and one half bath. The square footage of the interior space is 5786 approximately. The home was built in 2008 and it's sitting on over half acre lot. And of course, you know, it has the in-ground pool. It has a large three-car garage. And here you're seeing the downstairs utility room, but there is another washer and dryer upstairs in that primary suite area. So that makes it very convenient that you don't have to bring the clothes all the way down from the primary suite or the upstairs bedrooms. You have a set 
of washer and dryer upstairs as well. So here is the two car garage bay and I'm gonna show you the large one car bay as well in just a quick moment. But you can see here you have plenty of space for vehicles, for storage. There's even another refrigerator here that they use I'm sure just for extra. Um, and I wanna show you the one car garage that has an air conditioner as well. And some folks who I showed this beautiful home to just a week or two ago, they absolutely love the home, but they were thinking to use this one car garage bay because it has the air conditioner as a large exercise room, uh, since that was something really important to them. But I could also see it being used as a craft space, a woodworking shop, or really anything that you need, just an extra space for hobby or whatever it is, and you have air conditioning in that large one car garage space. Now I will mention that the flooring throughout the main level of this home is a stained concrete, which is very common in some custom homes around Georgetown, Texas. Now it's something that a lot of people like, it's easy to take care of and easy to maintain, but also keep in mind that if it's not what you want in a floor, you can easily put whatever you want right on top of it. Um, you can put wood, you could put tile, you could put luxury vinyl plank. So, you know, just something to keep in mind now. I think it's really pretty. They have different designs throughout. You have a different one there on the right and a different one at the foyer. Um, but if it's something that is not your favorite, nothing to worry about, you can put down a different type of flooring. So here we have two bedrooms here on this left wing of the main level of the house both good sized bedrooms and you have a bathroom situated right in between. And what's really neat is each of these bedrooms has a door out to the outside where you can access the backyard. And I'll give you a peek of that. There's a beautiful trees out here and you have a nice swing as well. So I gotta show that to you. Now, let me take a quick moment to introduce myself. My name is Seth Capel and I've been a realtor in Central Texas for 18 years now. Now, if you follow my channel, you know that I specialize in new construction homes, everything from luxury custom homes like this one, but also semi-custom homes, build on your own lot, as well as luxury production home builders, like the common ones that you've heard of that are very well known, Toll Brothers, Drees Homes, Giddens Homes, Perry Homes. There's so many great builders that I've worked with and I've helped so many clients over the 18 years that I've been in real estate here in Central Texas with their new construction projects. And there's so many questions people throw at me all the time. How do I decide between which type of community to build in? How do I decide if I wanna build or buy a finished new home or a resale home like this one? And there's so many things that I've learned over the years that I love helping my clients go through and process these decisions so if you ever have any questions about anything related to buying a new construction home or maybe buying a resale home like this, you can reach out to me anytime. I'm always happy to help. My contact information is in the description of the video. Now we're here in the bathroom that is in between the two downstairs secondary bedrooms. And you can see here, they were very wise to install a nice walk-in shower here rather than a tub and shower combo, uh, just so that if you have an elderly person who's visiting, they can stay in one of these bedrooms, they don't have to walk upstairs, and they don't have to step over a tub, uh, which, you know, represents a possible fall hazard. And this is just so much safer for older guests who are visiting. And it's just nice to have a couple of bedrooms right here on the main level, especially where each of them has a door to the outside really neat idea. So next I'm gonna show you the beautiful home office, which also has a door to the outside. And then I'm gonna get you upstairs to that primary suite that I have been raving about and you can't miss that, it's absolutely beautiful. So stick with me here. And as we're entering this downstairs home office, you saw that barn door, beautiful barn door on the way into the home office. And you could see here, you have a door to the outside and it's not a massive home office but it's really helpful to have that extra closet right there just to put some books or files or whatever you need to just get some of the clutter out and behind a closed closet door. And you could see that there is ceramic tile, a really interesting, beautiful ceramic tile in this home office. 
and just like I said, they laid that right on top of the stained concrete. So if you prefer to add other types of flooring throughout the downstairs, so easy to do. You may have noticed there's a cute little doggy door right here and they have a small fenced in area outside as a front patio. So if you have a little dog and you want them to kind of have an access point to just go outside, you have that already built in here. Look at this grand foyer. We kind of didn't see all of this on the way in, but this is a huge rotunda and you have the grand entrance, the grand stairway here. And right there on the right, we're gonna get over there in a minute. That is the movie room. And this right here is the entrance to that incredible primary suite. But first I just wanted you to see what these beams look like from up above the windows. And we're gonna look down right here at the formal dining space. And I would absolutely love to hear this space filled with the music from that gorgeous piano down below. Now, without any further ado, let's get into this beautiful primary suite. You have the double door entry here, and this is a dedicated living space just to the primary suite. You have a fireplace right there, a Juliet balcony, which we're definitely gonna have to peek over, and you have your own living space here, which is like a little area to just relax, watch TV, enjoy a glass of wine in front of the fireplace, and it just offers additional separation from the rest of the home. And here you, you can close these doors off, but you have this Juliet balcony looking down at the kitchen. You can see from above how beautiful it is and how much natural light comes in through these upper windows. And here are the beams as well. But this primary suite just continues. So you have this barn door entry here to the sleeping quarters of the primary suite. And there is that door to the outdoor living, which you saw a little bit from below when I showed you the spiral staircase. And this is a pretty good size outdoor living that is dedicated just to this primary suite. So not only does the primary suite have tons of living space inside, it also has its own dedicated outdoor living space. And here's a little rotunda inside the primary suite. So you have just a really beautiful, elegant uh, space throughout this entire wing of the house. And it's like it's your own little kitchenette area here. So you have a sink, you can put a, you, you know, there's a microwave there, a wine fridge, coffee maker. And so you don't have to leave your primary suite if you just want to make some coffee or heat something up. You have a pretty filled closet here, but it's actually a good size. There's other closets, which I'm gonna show you as well. Um, but this is one of the closets here in the primary suite. But just keep in mind that that um, kitchen area here in a primary suite bedroom, this is something that is not very common to have a kitchen area that large in a primary suite. And here on the left is another closet space with beautiful cabinetry, beautiful drawers. I love how they have this center island within the closet space here and you have a window there so you have natural light coming in you have plenty of space for shoes on the left um, you have the different hanging bars you have tons of drawers there and more hanging space more drawers more hanging space and this is just one of the closets here in the primary suite and then look at this right here you have a stackable washer dryer area so again, you don't have to bring your laundry all the way down to the main utility space and you'll notice a pocket door right there so you can close that off. Now this is the third closet area that I'm showing you and stay tuned, there's another one coming up that's even bigger. And so this is another closet area right here, the third one, and I'm gonna show you a fourth one that's even larger. Uh, so you can see how far that goes in there. And here we have, we're gonna get into the bathroom area as well. Um, but look at this other closet space on the right there. And you have the commode and the bidet room, which you can close the door to. And let's take a look at this now fourth closet area with beautiful cabinetry, beautiful hanging space. Again, you have windows letting in natural light. And it's just every inch of this home was just so well thought out. And that makes sense because it's a custom 
luxury custom home that was made for this family and for all of their needs. And now it is looking for its next forever home family. So if you're looking for a home like this, keep it in mind. If you'd like to build in Cimarron Hills, there are a couple of lots available, but they're quite a bit smaller than this one. Uh, they're right around a quarter acre or slightly larger than a quarter acre and they are selling for about 250000 each. Um, but that said, you'll be limited on the size of the home you could build given the size of those lots that are available. So if you're looking for a luxury home of this size, remember over 5,700 square feet, um, you may want to really think about this one because it's absolutely beautiful and it may meet most of your needs, if not all. And um, the list price on this home at this time uh, is right around 2.5 million. So let's continue here in this bathroom here, still in the primary suite. Look at all of these windows right here with that freestanding bathtub. And you have a large walk-in shower here as well with look at all of this travertine tile finish. You have the body sprayers, the multiple shower heads, just a true luxurious shower here in this very unique one-of-a-kind primary suites. Now I'm gonna get you to that upper deck outdoor covered patio and we're gonna get to see below the pool area and just so you can get a really good view of all that right now. Uh, and I also wanna share with you quite a bit of information related to Cimarron Hills. Remember Cimarron Hills is a really well-known, absolutely beautiful golf course country club community here in Georgetown. It's over a thousand acre country club community. It has so many resort style amenities, gorgeous custom homes like this one, Jack Nicholas signature golf course, so many tennis courts, a really great tennis program. You have homes starting around 700,000 all the way up to over $3 million. And you have pickleball courts now, you have so many trails and pools, and they have an incredible restaurant as well with really delicious food. So if you'd like additional information about Cimarron Hills, or if you'd like my marketing piece on the eight things people didn't know about living in a country club golf community, just send me an email. My email is seth at texhomes.net. But again, all my contact information is in the description of the video. And you can reach out to me anytime with any questions you might have about this specific property, the community, or building custom homes in general. So if you think that this backyard with that pool and all the outdoor living and all the outdoor kitchen space, if you think it's phenomenal as well, please just let me know in the comments at the end of the video, go into YouTube comment area and just let me know what you think, or just let me know what your favorite feature is in this home or what you'd like to possibly think about adding to the home that you're planning to build or in your current home. I'd love to hear about it. And next we're gonna get into the movie room and then there's additional bedrooms up here and bathrooms, so we are not done yet. And also, there is some important information you need to know about homes in Cimarron Hills, including this one, that relate to important financial matters. Um, there are different types of arrangements that relate to utility districts and improvement districts, and we have uh, in the Cimarron Hills area, there is what's called a PID, or a public improvement district. And I'm gonna explain what that is. And I'm gonna also explain what some of the similar arrangements are in other communities. One is called a PUD, a public utility district, and another one called a MUD, a municipal utility district. I'm gonna to try to give you a brief explanation of each of those so you understand what they are and what risks or financial responsibilities they represent, whether you're looking at this home or you're looking at other homes in Cimarron Hills or other communities that have one of these types of arrangements. Now, the reason it's really critical to understand what a pit is versus a PUD or a MUD is sometimes they can represent liabilities to the future homeowner in the, in the range of tens of thousands of dollars. So this is not insignificant. And a PID typically funds different types of improvements. It's created by the city or the county, and there's usually a board that manages it. But there's oftentimes homes that are in a PID 
have a certain dollar amount that they have to pay every year until that total amount is paid off. And sometimes they can be $20,000 or they could be less or they could be more, but that's not an insignificant amount of money. And now they do have to be disclosed within the paperwork that you get when you're looking at a home and before you purchase a home, it has to be disclosed to you. But sometimes you're finding out pretty late in the game. And so that is something that when you're working with a really detailed, experienced realtor, they're gonna let you know that up front. Um, now, one good thing to note, like if it's a MUD, typically that amount is actually built into the tax rate. So if you're looking at a home that has a tax rate of, let's just say it was 2.1% and it's in a MUD, that that amount is typically included in that tax rate. So that's not a major surprise. But with a PID, it is not typically included in that tax rate. So that is a massive surprise because that amount of money will be something you have to pay every year until it is fully paid off. Now, one wonderful thing to note on this specific home at 201 Dovetail, the homeowner has paid it off 100%. So there is no PID liability. As far as I'm aware, as far as it has been disclosed to me on this home, there is no PID liability. So that is a wonderful thing to know. If you'd like to know more about PIDs, HUDs, and MUDs, I have a document right here that I'm happy to email you. It's called PIDs, PUDs, MUDs, Oh My, and it's definitely something you want to know about. But at the same time, if you just want to know the important details, you can just reach out to me or your realtor. They'd be happy to explain it to you as well, I'm sure. Now, since we're talking about financial matters and tax rates and things like that, let me tell you the tax rate here at 201 Dovetail is on the lower range. Like this is one of the lower tax rates. It's 1.78% approximately. And that is definitely on the lower range of what you're gonna see around Central Texas. Now, you know, if you watch my videos, I'm often pointing out the lower and lower tax rates since that is something every one of my clients wants. I've never heard of anyone saying they wanted to pay more taxes so if you want to know which communities have the lowest tax rates around Central Texas, again, I'm happy to help with that. But in some of the recent videos, if you've been paying attention, one of them was about 1.5, another one was under 1.4, and that I know is the lowest tax rate I have ever seen around Central Texas. But sometimes we're seeing them not only in the high 2% range, but even over 3% range. So here at 201 Dovetail at 1.78, that's actually on the much lower range of what you see when you look at tax rates around Central Texas. Now here in Cimarron Hills, there are currently 18 houses on the market that are active for sale. The lowest price one is about 1,800 square feet and it is priced right around 665, 665,000. That is a one-story, three-bedroom, two-bath home with a three-car garage, actually. Then there are about six homes that are listed under one million. There are about eight homes between one million and two million. And then there are four priced between 2.2 and just around $3 million. So if you'd like more information on those, of course, you can always reach out to me. And if you'd like to see another custom home a brand new custom home single story home on one acre lot in georgetown with no hoa please go ahead and click on the house on the left side of your screen so many of my clients are always asking for communities and beautiful homes without an hoa so you can click on that one and take a look thank you so much for watching have a great day